What is up, everyone? Welcome back to Sweet in 4 for the PS2. So we're on the ship headed towards Iluya Island. Talk to some people around here. Uh, we can, uh, I want to actually, if you look here, I have four supplementary tickets. How these work, how you get supplementary tickets is by spending 500 poach anywhere. Um, well, I don't know if it's anywhere, but at the shops and everything. And once you spend 500 poach, you'll get a supplementary ticket. Click five tickets and you'll get a lottery ticket. And then you can play the lottery. And if you manage to get a good prize for the lottery, you can get some good good stuff. So I'll show you real quick here. Uh, we'll buy 500 poach worth of medicines. Yeah, there you go. See? Now we have a lottery ticket instead of a... See, you saw before I had four supplementary tickets. Now I have one lottery ticket since I spent 500. And we'll be able to put that to use uh, later. Um, not right now, of course. Won't need to worry about pirates. Okay, so JRPG tells, a JRPG character tells you not to worry about something. That means you got to worry about it. Oh, I wonder if we'll get a handsome reward after completing it then. I guess we'll find out later. I don't think there's any like treasure maps in this particular ship. But some ships later in the game. You'll be able to find treasure maps and they're missable. Uh, I don't think there's any on this ship though. I don't think there's any items on this ship. But you'll be going on multiple ships as you progress through the game. Alright, so we can train with this guy up here, I believe. Yeah, we just have Snow and Ray, uh, the main character, though. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, boy. I'm going to take him out, guys, and I'm going to throw him overboard. And we got a battle against a guy and soldier. Let's go. Let's go. Make him walk the plank. Finish it. Yeah, you get 100 poach for defeating that guy. You can battle them over and over again if you want to. I used to back when I was younger. I used to... Like, there's a lot of these battles where you can just battle over and over again. And when I was younger, I would do that a lot. But I'm not going to do that. That's stupid. Younger me had too much time on his hands. And I was like... Like... Wasting time, like, battling that dude over and over again. I remember battling him, like, 30 times, probably. Seems like something I would do back when I was younger. Alright, that's all we could talk to. Let's go ahead and depart, and we'll head to Ouya Island. Now, this is a... Oh, hold on, let me... There we go. Very long trek. It's way up there, as you can tell. And I didn't mean to go back to Razzle Reel. I need to go out some and then uh, then do it. Uh, you only have Snow and the Razor at the moment, so you should be fine though. You should be able to one-shot them anyway at, this, at your current level. Uh, you may, if you can't one-shot them, I would do combo attack. But you should be able to one-shot them at this point. I'm going to be cutting out the random battles as we go. Oops. Man, I 
Gotta get used to the controls in this game. What you want to do is you want to target Illuia Island, click X, and it'll move your, it'll face your cursor and the ship towards Illuia Island. There you go. Then all you gotta do is hold R1, and you can basically play the game in one hand at this point. Those fish enemies, they drop scales, which you can use later on. This game has like a like a crafting system. It's like very like lackluster, but it, there is a crafting system in this game. Uh, the reason I say it's lackluster is because there's not a whole lot you can actually make in this game, as you can't get from other places, you know. So it's not it's not that great, but it is worth collecting a few scales here and there if you can manage to get them from drops. All right, here we go. We're at the cutscene now. Let's see what happens. Remember, they said not to worry about pirates, so we're good about that. We don't have to worry about pirates, at least, right? The NPC said that we don't have to worry about them. So it'll be pretty calm from here on. There's a good breeze too, so we should be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. Yes, no, you're right. We're everything's everything's good, you know. Hey, that Mr. Ramada, he said that his cargo was spices, didn't he? Actually, I managed to catch a glimpse of Mr. Ramada's cargo before we departed from the port. Oh, so you were spying there on were him. containers of rune cannon ammunition. Really big ones at that. Hmm. I've never seen anything like them. They had to be at least five to ten times larger than the ones we use. Can you imagine? If you got hit by something like that, even a single shot could sink a galleon. Hmm. Ah, oh, great, my headsets are running low. Do you think Battery low. We're gonna be okay? Of course. It's no your worry work, buddy. And incompetent as well. Alright, so here's Glenn saying... Tell him Katarina to never mention nasal birds. Six mast, okay. Uh oh, Pirate Brando, we heard about him earlier yeah but he does actually have important cargo he has rune cannon ammunition and you can see why pirates would want that you know because they could probably turn around and sell that you know Yep. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I'm less incompetent, guys. Fast ship. Okay, he's going to go track us down. How would you even know wh where to find us at, though? Like... We're on a ship in a giant, a very vast sea. Like, this, the sea in this game is massive. Like, how would he even be able to find us? But yeah, that's right. This is a video game that doesn't have logic. That's right. You got the logic out the window when you're playing a video game. Alright, so there's Ramada's ship right behind us. Okay, so... At this point, you can battle this dude again if you want to. Um, not really a whole lot you can do at this point. Just talk to Snow to advance the storyline. Let's see if anybody in here has anything new to say, though. I don't think so, but we'll check. Yeah, there's nothing new here. 
All right, let's head back out here. Excuse me. Huh? That ship, six masts. Uh oh. That's not a merchant ship. Gunboards on the starboard side. Alright, so we want to pick, let's fight. Snow's a little crybaby. Uh, they're portraying Snow as like a... As like a weakling and he's afraid. He's basically not fit to be a captain. And I think it's pretty good storytelling as you'll see later on. Let's fight. I'm the captain here. You must follow my orders. What do you think you're doing? Doing the right thing, buddy. And Snow runs away like a coward. It's useless. The, the ship is going to sink. And of course he gonna take off. <laughs> what a coward. Alright, the second naval battle of the game. Pirate Brando. Emerge victorious against the two enemy pirate ships. All right, so obviously we want to put a water person and a earth person. And then you know, we just put a bunch of knights in case they attack us. All right. So you make sure to do water and earth. And we'll go ahead and commence naval battle here. Now since we have a lot of underlings, they'll get to go first. Against this one you want to use uh, earth. And against the other one you want to use water. This should sink their ship right here. Nope, not quite. Definitely don't use water against that ship or else you'll regret your life decisions. All right, now we use water. Water. 
water again. And it should be GG. I'm pretty sure. Yep, there we go. Captain, we are victorious. Victory! Alright. So that was the second naval battle of the game. Pretty easy. Didn't even took didn't even take a single hit there. They do get slightly harder later, but they're still easy later on as well, though. Sir, the enemy ship is fully ablaze, but it's still heading straight for us. Oh no, that's not good. What's going on? Sir, the enemy ship is upon us and its crew is boarding us. What? A dozen or so enemy combatants confirmed. We are currently Oh. And he's dead. dead. My apologies, Master Brando. Looks like I was the only one who got to have fun. <laughs> Alright, it's boss time against Assassin and Pirate Brando. Let's take out the Assassin first. I don't think you can win this battle. I don't know though. I can't remember. I think the battle automatically ends if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong though. There we go. Assassin's down. Oh, you got the fire rune. Okay, I only did flame and arrow. That's pretty weak. All right, we almost got him. There we go. So I guess you can win that battle. Okay, I didn't know. It's been a while. I know I probably beat him when I was younger, but I just don't remember. Yeah, pretty easy boss. I know you can lose that battle and still advance, though, I'm pretty sure. So don't worry, don't like fret if you lose or whatever, it's fine. Surrender now. The Orok trade ship has departed, and your ship has been consigned to the depths of the ocean. Hmm. So you're the pirate Brando. You've really got guts picking a fight with the knights. But you'll regret that decision in the afterlife. <laughs> Master Brando! Keep all this in mind for the next game. No! Uh, speaking in tactics. There's a reason why, there's a reason why the assassin dude is acting crazy right now, like telling Brando no and all that. Don't! Don't! The assassin, it's a very sad story with the assassin. And you don't figure out the storyline until speaking in tactics. But it's very emotional. We'll be to ash. But the main character saved from it.
Main character didn't get, didn't, getting, didn't get turned to ash by some hidden power. You know, you know the main character always has hidden powers in games. And there goes Snow, retreating like a coward. Is that Snow? Is he serious to depend on paddling all the way back? Incredible. So you decided to just abandon your ship? I... I know, but my arm! My arm wouldn't move, don't you understand? Punched him right in the face. You coward! What kind of captain leaves his men in order to save himself? The captain is always last to leave! Yeah. But... my arm! My arm wouldn't move! Look! This is pointless. Don't die. Oh, I didn't. Don't worry. Alright, we get to the second one on one duel of the game against Brando. Okay, um, I'm not really sure what to pick here. You cannot defeat me. Um, that seems like a uh, guard. But then again, it might not be. They usually don't start out with guard, which is weird that he'd pick guard. Mm. I'm going to predict that it's going to be uh, attack. Nope, he, oh, he chose guard. Yep, all right. Okay, I should have just went with attack then. That's when we just want to attack, obviously. I will settle this. I will settle this, probably special, I would think. Yep, so we want to guard. <laughs> I'm going to guard against that. Your attacks are futile. Don't you realize that? I'll kill you. I will settle this. Probably not doing more damage to him. Victory is mine, you wanna do it you wanna do special. Don't get cocky, boy. 
Hmm. Don't get cocky, boy. Hmm. That's either a guard or attack. I'm not sure. All right, so we're gonna do special. There we go. Finish them off. All right. You don't have to win that battle either if you don't want to. You can actually lose and be fine. You're alive. Oh, that rune. Finish me. Yep. That pattern. <laughs> oh no, it transferred to Glenn. And he turned to ash as well, just like the other people. What the? What? What is this? All these people. Wonder who they were. Well, I know who they were, but I'm not going to tell you guys. That would be a spoiler. Commander, are you all right? Yeah, <laughs> pirate ship sunk. We almost sunk as well. <laughs> For you to be calling him infamous, he must be infamous too. Yeah. Keep that rune sound in mind. That uh, is just something that happens with that rune. I'm not going to spoil what the rune's, rune's name is, though. We'll find out soon enough. And there's the coward again over there. <laughs> Snow's probably upset that I lived. Snow, I bet, wish the main character had died, I bet. Too bad, Snow. Everything ended up being okay. You fled for no reason. Alright, guys. That'll be the first episode. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. And later.